Alright you guys, so in today's video we're going to talk about a key element in the neutral game of KOF 15 and it is called whiff cancelling. This is something that's been featured across the board in every single KOF in existence and this game definitely holds on to that formula as it's just a stable part of the KOF series. Now, what exactly is whiff cancelling, right? Whiff cancelling is a mechanic in KOF that allows you to whiff specific normals into command normals, special moves, and even supers. Utilizing this technique can open up a new and unique way to approach the neutral game among many other things in KOF. Now let's take a look at the anatomy of whiff cancel. We'll use kill for this example. Kill's far C can be whiff canceled into any of his special moves. But how does this work? Well, there is a relatively large window in which you can special cancel into any of Kill's special moves or supers, but for this example, we'll stick to special moves. As you can see, you can cancel as early or as late as you like to. The reason being for this big cancel window is to allow for the kill player to have the most control over this move in accordance to his special moves. So here you can see we have the earliest cancel window, the mid cancel window, and here is the late cancel window. Now keep in mind that the cancel window will vary from normal to normal and character to character. You can also do this with command normals as well. Normally Kyo would not be able to cancel his overhead or 6B or 4B if you will into anything other than quick max cancels for combos. Generally speaking in KOF you can do your close normals or light attacks generally speaking into a command normal. This essentially is taking away the need to hit the opponent but use the whiff instead to create this new scenario now the benefit to this is making his 4b special cancelable where it would it be but before i close out this section i want to point out that in klf the most common whiff cancelable normal for literally every single character in the game is standing cd or your blowback attack so be sure to keep that in mind as you experiment with your whiff cancelling so now that we understand the anatomy of whiff cancelling, I'm pretty sure you're wondering, well, Kensu, where and why and how should I utilize whiff cancelling, right? Well, the idea is to alter your approaches to your opponent with different timings for your special moves. Also, while in the neutral game, to score damage or start your pressure game. But it doesn't just stop here. Let's take a look at a few other areas we can utilize whiff cancelling in KOF 15. So for this example, let's take a look at it for zoning characters, right? And for this example, we'll use Athena. Athena whiff cancels are really great for adjusting her zoning with her Psycho mode! Psycho mode! Psycho mode! Now, for Athena, her most common choices are her 2C or crouching C and or her standing CD or your blowback attack. Both of these alter her timings and spacings of when her fireball comes out allowing Athena to naturally alter her zoning even more fluidly than without her whiff cancel. Now, another way you can utilize your whiff cancels are actually in combos because they actually aid in making things have the perfect timing or juggle timing, if you will, for some specific combos. With that being said, here are a few examples of whiff canceling in combos. <laughs> So in summary, whiff cancels are a great way to alter your neutral game while playing KOF. Knowing when to utilize this technique is very organic and it all depends on you to experiment while playing in your game. Let it be known that whiff cancels are not a requirement to win in KOF. You can win just fine without it. But if you want to add an extra layer to your game, it's highly advised to actually learn how to use this technique. 
There is no right or wrong. And with that said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care, peace, and love, and play more KOF, all right? Peace.